Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lens Studio Physics Game Tutorial Series. In this video we're going to add some more particles to the ball whenever it gets hit, just to add a little bit of emphasis. So let's get started by adding another particle system. And let's rename this to Ball Particles. And because this is going to come from the ball, we're actually going to drag this inside the soccer ball parent. And let's zero out the position so that it is right at the center. We can't really see it yet, so we need to do some adjusting in the particle material. So let's go down to the bottom, and let's set the scale a little bit higher. And let's change the velocity to be like 15 units on every axis. Now we can actually start to see it coming out of the ball, so that's perfect. Let's change the texture to the ring glow. We can just reuse that. And then we'll change the blend mode to add. And that looks pretty cool, actually. So let's check external time and instant spawn. And we'll do the same thing that we did in the previous video. So let's just test this out and see how it looks as we increase time. That looks pretty good. We're keeping lifetime random on here. So the lifetime of the particles will be anywhere from one to two. So we need to make sure that our tween is a max of two seconds. So let's add a tween value and we'll rename it to hit. We're going to set the data type to float, and the end is going to be 2 this time, and we'll set the time to be just 0.5 seconds. So let's add that particles material as our material parameter, and the property name is external time input. And when we test it out, it looks pretty good to me. So let's add that to our script. First, we need to input the ball particle object. And then we're going to go into the collision function and we're going to check if it's hitting the tube, then we're going to run this tween. So let's do global.tweenManager.startTween. And we're going to reference that ball particles object and the name of the tween, which is hit. And now let's test it out. Yep, that looks good. It's running the particles every time we hit the ball. And that should do it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be wrapping up our project by adding some finishing touches. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.